Hey you guys, welcome back to my video. Please make sure you subscribe, also like, share, and comment below. So the holidays is coming up and I gotta be honest, I don't really celebrate the holidays. You know, I don't really like give a fuck about them, but like the holiday season is actually like my favorite season though. Like I just feel like the mood changes in the world. Like I feel like people always want to be like better and they're more kinder during the holiday season and everything like that. I'm like, why do people wait for the holidays to come to be more nice and everything? Like, you're supposed to do that shit all year round and everything. But in today's video, I'm going to be talking about my top favorite, my, wait, no. I'm going to be talking about my top five <laughs> favorite holiday movies that I like to watch. And I think you guys should watch too. Number five, Batman Returns. So, this is not really like a holiday, holiday movie, but it has some holiday feels to it. Like, I mean, holiday feels to it and everything like that. Um, as you know, like, I am a Catwoman fan and Michelle Pfeiffer plays Catwoman in this movie. And, um, I also like Danny DeVito's performance as the Penguin, too. Um, but I feel like this is, like, a good, like, holiday movie to watch, you know, um, I mean, it's Batman, you know, shit, like, he's popular, and people love to watch Batman and everything like that, and for Almost Christmas, have y'all ever seen this movie? This movie is so fucking funny, um... It's also a good, like, family movie. You know, it's like a good movie. You can sit down with your family and everything and just watch and stuff. Um, Monique is so fucking funny in this movie. Um, she's one of the main reasons why, like, I watched this movie. Because her performance was so good and everything. And I just love, um, the, um, the dinner scene when the side chick comes, who's played by Carrie Hilson. Um... And she doesn't realize that she's the side chick and everything. But I'm not going to tell you too much. Just just watch the movie and you'll find out. But that shit is funny. Number three. Um, this movie is not supposed to be funny. And it has some funny moments. But <laughs> I'm sure once I say the name of this movie, y'all will understand why I'm laughing. And why I said that there's some funny moments in this um, movie, but the movie I'm talking about is Holiday Heart. Holiday Heart is such a good movie to watch, you know. Um, it's not it's not supposed to be funny, you know, um, and I apologize for laughing because I know that drug addiction is real out there. Well, addiction period is real. And, um, I don't know. Um, if you know anyone that's struggling with substance abuse, um, I hope that you guys, like, find them help because this movie, um, deals with that type of stuff. And Ving Rhames, like, I'm surprised, like, he chose this type of role. Because I wouldn't imagine a big man like him to play a drag queen and stuff like that. But, yeah, y'all should watch the movie. It's a really good movie. Number two, Home Alone. Home Alone is a classic holiday movie. Like, you got to be living under a rock if you have not seen Home Alone. And I feel like Home Alone with, um, how do you say his name? Is it Macaulay Culkin? Something like that. But, like, his Home Alone version is the best Home Alone. I don't know why Hollywood keeps coming out with these fucking remakes. Like, goddamn, stop remaking everything. Some things deserves not to be touched. Leave shit alone and be creative. There's so much 
creativity out here like people are so creative like i feel like hollywood is so afraid to find new talent and shit i mean hell come to me i got some ideas for like movies and shit but like i'm definitely not watching that new home alone because it looks corny as fuck and number one my absolutely favorite holiday movie i watch this movie every year i make sure it's like it's tradition to me to watch this movie every year when i first when i first saw it when i was little let me catch my breath <laughs> when i first saw this movie when i was little like i absolutely fell in love with it and i don't know why but the movie is a diva's christmas carol with vanessa williams and chili is also in it you know um Am I the only one that really loves that movie? That movie is so fucking good. I don't know. I gotta be honest. I love how Vanessa Williams, I love how like she was just such a diva and everything. <laughs> I don't know why I'm weird like that, but um, that's one of my favorite movies. Like that's one of, that's my main favorite movie to watch during the holidays. And um it also has a good message too, you know, to always be kind to people because you just never know what people are going through, you know. And um, Chili does a good job um, in the movie as well. Um, she actually plays her friend that died in a car accident and everything like that. But I also love the music in this movie, you know, the heartquake. It must be serious, you just don't want to say. Am I delirious or could I be a heart quake? Is this physical? How much can I take? Am I delirious? Do I feel a heart quake? This is critical. How much can I take? It's so electrical. No, that it's a heart quake. Got to say before. You never seen me falling. Stop in my tracks. It's too late. The roof's too high. Okay, that's a. I don't know the fucking words. I gotta learn the fucking words. As much as I watch that fucking movie, I should know the damn fucking words. But fuck that shit. Y'all just watch that damn movie. It's such a good movie. Let me know. What holiday movies are y'all watching? Um, and also, um, what else I wanted to say? I guess that's it. Let me know what holiday movies y'all watching in the comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video. Happy holidays.